Hello everybody, how are you guys doing? So I found what to hang our feathers from. These here, let me zoom you out a little bit. These feathers here that we did, I'll link down below um, part one, part two, part three, and part four, no, part one, part two, and part three. And then I, I put for the fourth link uh, the feathers, the paper feathers just because people were asking. Um, so I just found an old bracelet that is pre-beaded and I thought, well, I'm not going to wear it. One, it's big and it I can't make it any smaller. And I glued the part that was broken. There was a broken part. Anyways, so we're going to use this as our base for the chandelier. And that's what we're going to be hanging our CDs, our CD feathers from here. Okay, um, so all, what I'll be using is our my handmade, uh, what is this called, string rope, my handmade rope. There's a video, I'll link that down below. And I already, I already did one part, so I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so I already tied off this end. I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically what I did was I grabbed whatever object I was going to use and I'm somewhat measured how much I'm going to use and how long it's going to hang. And I thought to myself, okay, about that much. So I had previously used this rope that I made so I tied it off then. And then now that I figured out how long I'm going to have it, I tied it off then. And basically, I can cut now since I tied it off, and I'm going to show you guys what I do for this stuff not to unravel. So you just cut it, use it, hold it, I mean, and grab yourself a needle and some thread and free form or however you like to do it. I like to freeform and just go at it. I just make sure I grab all of the loose pieces of fabric. So that it doesn't unravel when I use it. I'm just going to cut off now. I think I can cut off now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So cut that piece off. I give myself some space so that I can go ahead and just make a knot this way. Do it however you like. This is the way I'm doing it. Okay, and I'm going to measure it against the one I already did and I don't need that much I don't need another one I just need this one okay so right about there before I cut it I'm going to have to uh, make sure it doesn't unravel that one's gonna give me a hard time So I'm going to have to cap it off. I like to use double. You don't need much. See, that's how I lose things. I just throw them. And then they're gone. So I better put it back. So I need about that much. So I'm just going to secure the the end of this. I'm going to secure it twice, basically where I'm going to cut, and also the part that's going to be left on the spool so that it doesn't unravel on its own. So I consider this another boho craft 
idea. Because we're hanging feathers, we're using um, scraps, mixed colors, making a chandelier. And then I'm going to tie it off right now. Leave myself just a little to tie a knot. And I can cut now, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to secure the part, like I mentioned, that's going to stay on the spool. And also I wanted to let you know that I made a decision that I'm going to grab part one, part two, part three, meaning how to peel a CD, how to cut a CD, um, how to paint the CD, how to make a hole in the CD. All of those I'm actually going to even put a video with all of those mashed up together. And I'm going to have the separate ones also. And the reason I'm doing that is some people don't have the time to watch a whole mashup, meaning all of the episodes at once. So they can watch the five minute one, the seven minute one separately. And they'll be in a playlist called DIY. And then there's those people that just want company while arting or crafting or cleaning or whatever that'll watch the whole 30 to 40 and sometimes an hour or two hour versions of my videos. And you know what, in reality it helps me out. The more views I get, uh, it helps me out a lot. So I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to tie the knot. And all your guys' contributions, dollar, two dollars, in and up, have really helped. I'm actually going to use that as a small savings and I'm not going to pull it out just in case there's another emergency with the animals. So I'm going to cut right here. So this this ends up you know nice and uh, closed up. It's not going to come apart and I could put it away. And then I have the two pieces that I'm going to use to hang from here. So get gather your supplies, go find something circular, anything, recycle anything. Gather whatever medium you'd like to use to hang your circular item from. Have your feathers ready and painted and then we'll move on to the next step and I'll catch you in the next series and like I mentioned when I'm done with all the series I'm gonna put them all together uh, if you like to fund this channel, the little button is right there. And I'm grateful for every everybody and every ev everybody's donations. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.